Hey everyone, it's me again. I am here to show you some more ways I use my junk journals. Last time they were junk journals that I use in my daily life uh, for list making. This time these are more occasional use journals and they're for art journaling. So the first one I want to start with is this large one here. It's about eight and a half by 11. And it's a vintage um, art plate book that I took apart and then rebound using the Midori style elastic binding. Most of the pages are complete. There's a lot of gessoing and collaging and some journaling, secret journaling, where I journaled on the hearts before cutting them and then cut them and glued them where I wanted them. Some stenciling with ink sprays. So these background pages are the original pages from the book. So that was one way of using this book. And having a larger spread allows you to do more art journaling on the spread. So that's what I liked about this one. So I'm almost finished filling this one up. And I just reinforced the spine with some uh, Gorilla duct tape because the original had a little bit of tearing happening. This next one was completely created out of junk mostly um, the backboard on photo mats and the photo mats themselves. Um, a long time ago I used to do craft fairs and I would sell some of my photography, floral photography, and so I had a lot of mats and backboards left over from my stock when I was doing that. So I wanted to make use of these and these are um, 8x10s so they were a perfect size also. So I'll show you what I did. I used my cinch and just put together a lot of these mats and backboards and some junk from around the house. So that's my cover. And this is a digital from a Happy Place collection. And then I did some doodling. And so here's what I mean by a photo mat. This is like an actual cut out space right here and I added a plastic um, background and then I did some of this art journaling stuff with some of the bits from the Happy Place collection. These are those uh, three or like triple file folders so I you know made this into pockets that I could actually like journal on a separate page and then put it in the pocket or something. This is just the uh, the um, background on a stamp set. And what I made sure of in this one is that everything that I put in here is sturdy to withstand, you know, like paint and gesso and glues and things like that. So here's another one of those mats. This is a half of a um, inter-office memo envelope. This is actually a file folder that I journaled on. This is uh, junk mail. Here's the other half of that envelope. And the opening is actually still functional. Another photo mat. This is the backboard on photos another envelope from something I received from overseas. More junk mail. And there you have it. So 
so that's another one. This next one is a uh, dollar store notebook, you know, that's got the spiral binding. I took it apart and put away the lined paper for some other junk journals. And I used the covers, which I just recovered with some of my digitals. And for the closure, I added a vertical elastic just by, through the back here. All you do is you punch a hole at the top and the bottom, and you loop your elastic through and just tie a knot. And this makes a, uh, a nice way to close it this way instead of this way. Because sometimes if you decorate the front, you don't want it to be covering up the front. And if you've got, you know, some dimensional things like flowers and stuff, your elastic won't sit right. So this is just a nice way to hold things together. And instead of using the, um, the original sort of uh, spiral binding, I just used binder rings because that allows me to take pages in and out. So this one is also full of just a bunch of junk and I've only started using this one. I've done a few pages. So I've got like a pocket that I made out of a old file folder. Just experimented with some uh, Perfect Pearls spray. This is a uh, paint chip card and I journaled on it on this one already. And then I've included some more scrap uh, pattern paper, envelopes from shipments, some jelly plate, uh, you know, extras, junk mail, And so art journaling in one of these can be quite simple. It can be more of a glue book style where you just slap some things down with glue and you don't necessarily have to do a lot of writing, well, you know, journaling. Here's a uh, pocket style junk mail. I thought that was cool. The cookie tray bottom. one of those coin rolls. Another junk mail. It, this one is actually just a vintage gardening book. I had to take some pages out and I would skip a page and then I would tear out a few more and then skip a page and tear out a few more. And once I was done that I was left with a lot of space. So that'll allow for all the thickness that I add with the gluing that I do and the painting and the embellishing. I also glued pages together. So each of these is two pages glued together. So here we go. Here I've been experimenting with the uh, art journal bits that I have from the Miss Lady Fay collection. So here we've got her fairy goggles and a steampunk gentleman there. And here's another spread. So the book will be fairly thick when I'm finished. So that's another way to use an altered book. This last one I want to show you is also made with an old book. Um, I just used the cover and instead of keeping the spine intact I cut the spine right down the middle of it and folded it over on the inside here just so that there would be a nice finish right here. I wanted this to have a like a finished look and so I did the same on the back. There's the other half of the spine. And in order for my book to lay flat when I'm doing the collaging inside, I just put it on a couple of binder rings. And this one's a larger size. It's um, about seven by nine and a half. I think I'm gonna use it more as a glue book where um, I don't necessarily want to journal in this at all. I just want to put together some images from magazines and maybe some vintage book pages and things like that. 
I've only done one page in this one so far. I just finished putting it together. These are dividers from um, a health book. I used a lot of those throughout it. And I've got some manila file folder scraps in here as well. And some of the actual pages from the health encyclopedia. This here is a uh, book cover, the kind that you remove. And another divider page. A sturdy um, magazine page. Sheet music. There's another one of those. I keep mentioning all these beautiful things that I got from my UK friends. Here's another pamphlet that someone sent to me and it's in Welsh. I just love that. It's awesome. That's it. So I just wanted to show you another way I use junk journals. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.